here we have it. The infamous PlayStation 5. We got lucky. We got our hands on one. So, we're going to help you guys out and let you know if you can find one. Is it worth the buy? If you are unable to get your hands on a comparable gaming PC, like one with the graphics card of a 3070 or 3080, um, or just aren't a big fan of PC gaming at all, I would definitely say that the PlayStation 5 is worth your time, as it does have 4K capabilities, 120 FPS capabilities, and it has an 825 gigabyte SSD that's a solid state drive built into the system, which compared to like a HDD or a hard disk drive on the PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox One, it loads significantly faster. So if you do have the money, can find one, and you aren't in the market or have a gaming PC already, I'd say it's definitely worth it. Um, the ray tracing capabilities are insane on that. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say about it. And along with the hardware capabilities, the games you can play on the PlayStation 5, you can play all of the PS4 games. You can play, there's not too many, but all of the PlayStation 5 games. And if you were considering it versus a Xbox Series X, you would be mistaken to go with the Xbox as just there's not hardly any games out for it or planned out exclusively for it in the near future. You'd really just be getting it for like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and maybe Call of Duty Cold War and some sports games. That's where with uh, the PlayStation 5, you have Miles Morales. You have God of War planning to come out this year. You have Horizon Dawn sequel coming out this year and much more. So I would definitely choose the PlayStation 5 over the Xbox Series S and X. The only way I would not is if you have the budget and the means or already have a top-notch gaming PC... Even then, you may want to pick yourself up one if you have the money and are interested in those exclusive titles. All right, guys. Thank you. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.